Nytta kan du vara då det. Sätt nytta vid progressen. Sätt nytta trendiness. Det är det som kan ta! Brought to you by the PBP Network. Cause your children belong to us. <laughs> Dynecor was exposed for having been involved in the buying and selling of young women and children. While all of this was going on, Dynecor kept the Pentagon contract to administer the smallpox and anthrax vaccines and is now working on a plague vaccine through the Joint Vaccine Acquisition Program. Mr. Secretary, is it policy of the U.S. government to reward companies that traffic in women and little girls? Absolutely not. The policy of the United States government is uh, clear, unambiguous, and opposed to uh, to the activities that you described. The um, second question. Well, how do you explain the fact that um, DynCorp and its successor uh, companies have received and continue to receive government contracts? I would have to go and, and find the facts, but there are laws and rules and regulations with respect to government contracts, and there are times that corporations do things they should not do, in which case they tend to be suspended for some period. There are times then that, that the, under the laws and the rules and regulations for the, that uh, passed by the Congress and implemented by the executive branch, that corporations can get off of the pen, out of the penalty box, if you will, and, and be permitted to engage in contracts with the government. They're, they're not generally not barred in perpetuity. This contract, this company um, was never in the penalty box. If you could proceed to my second question, please. The, um, the second question, uh, I've forgotten what the second question was. I'm running for president. Everyday Americans need a champion, and I want to be that champion. I'm hitting the road to earn your vote, and I hope you'll join me on this journey. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and cannot be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosyl cobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash afterwards, really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. Still damaging your brain. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. 
The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water. For your preparedness storage or your home kitchen, purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. David Knight for InfoWars.com. Now here we are in the nation's capital. The Pope being here is to sell an agenda. It's something that they put out with an encyclical earlier to pave the way for what they were going to do for climate change. Most people were not paying attention to it. As a poll said, only one in three of Americans were aware of it. Only 40% of those in the Catholic Church were aware of it. So they're going to make a very big deal out of it with Obama. But I want to just look at some of the symbolism here. Not necessarily intended, but what I see here. Look at the Capitol building in the background. You see it's under scaffolding. That scaffolding is probably about just cleaning and painting. But what we understand here is that this is a government that is being remade. It's being remade into something that we don't even recognize, like this alien statue over here on the side here. We've got this, this thing looks like it's about ready to climb up the side of the building. This is an alien foreign government. It's being sold to us as compassion. It's phony compassion. This Pope, it's reported by those who are traveling with him, reported in The Guardian, and others who are on the plane with him, he wanted to enter America through one of the ports of entry that was the most popular for immigrants coming in here illegally. That's the agenda that he wants to sell. He wants to sell the evil of the free marketplace. He hates individuality. He hates what he calls capitalism. But of course, we understand that's not capitalism. That is crony capitalism. It is fascism, like they had in Argentina, where he was under Perón. The difference between Hitler and Mussolini that Juan Perón loved so much in Argentina and the kind of government that he created there was he made an alliance with the labor unions. That's the only difference. And of course, it became a retirement haven for Nazis after the war to move to Argentina. They were famous for that. So it's a very much a fascist system that was there, military dictatorship. We've seen, however, throughout Central and Latin America, what happens when the Pope's economic policies that he's trying to sell to us as compassion, that's always the way they package it. We've seen what happens to that. We can see what's going on in Venezuela right now. We know that people don't have the money for food, for water, for medicine. They're going to other countries, they're coming to America. That system that the Pope is trying to sell, that the Jesuits have been trying to sell for decades since the early 1970s called liberation theology, is nothing but warmed over Marxism with a compassionate face on it. It isn't going to provide the necessities that people need. It's not capable of it. We have an imperfect system. We have problems with our system, corruption, crony capitalism. We need to reform and correct the system, not level it and create something that Obama and the Pope would like to see here. And of course, it's going to be done in the name of climate change as well. Let's take a look at the facade of climate change. So when Jakari and I walked up here, what I saw was a massive restructuring. That's what it looks like with the scaffolding that's on the Capitol. I saw a massive restructuring of the government with a facade of climate change based on a moral case. The irony of all this is that the only thing that's not changing in our government in our religion and the Catholic Church and the traditional family. The only thing out of all of that that's not changing is the climate. But they're going to use that to try to make a moral case. You want to make a moral case? Talk about why we're being flooded into this country with economic refugees 
fleeing the very system that the Pope wants to establish. The hypocrisy of saying, I'm going to come across the border where these people are coming across the border, yet deciding, nah, you know what, I think I'll come in with my own private jet. But I'll drive out in a Fiat 500. Is that the Abarth edition? I don't know, okay? This is beyond ridiculous, but this is the pageantry. This is the way it's being sold, the symbolism. Look at the symbolism. This is our government being restructured, being manufactured with a false agenda into an alien being that we don't understand. For InfoWars.com, I'm David Knight with Jakari Jackson. We're here in Washington, D.C., waiting for the next shoe to drop tomorrow with the papal visit. White House linked groups bankroll new fact checking network. This is a story up on Infowars.com today. A new global news fact checking project announced yesterday by the Pointer Institute will be funded by two organizations with close ties to the Obama White House. The project, which purports to be focused on holding public officials accountable, is funded by grants from, from the Omid Your Network and the National Endowment for democracy, and it will, quote, support and study the work of 64 fact-checking organizations spanning six continents, according to the Pointer Institute's website. So the Omid Your Network, as the article documents, is headed up by the founder of eBay, Pierre Omid Your. If you check into the White House visitor logs, you will see that he has visited the White House half a dozen times since 2009, if you compare that to other representatives within the media, within corporate America, that's quite a lot of visits. Other members of his organization have also visited an additional seven times. And in fact, Obama also personally appointed Omid Yar to sit on the President's Commission on White House Fellowships. And they talked about U.S. foreign policy during these Omid Yar White House visits. So this is someone with key links to the White House of course, National Endowment for Democracy, the other organization which is funding this, quote, fact-checking project, also bankrolled last year's coup in Kiev. And if you look into the history of that organization, it's basically the civilian CIA, which is what Ron Paul talks about. So they're posing as the neutral arbiter of knowledge while actually functioning as an arm of state media. And of course, this is nothing new. It's happened since the 50s with the CIA and Operation Mockingbird. So this is merely a modern incarnation of that process of manipulating the media narrative. It's not neutral. It's not fact-checking. It's agenda-driven. And on the subject of clandestine government programs, here's John Bowne with a special report on the secret drug war. Just how deeply embedded in the drug trade are some of the most powerful people in American politics? This only scratches the surface. But for example, Delano Roosevelt, the grandfather of FDR, made his fortune as an opium trafficker. Writing home, Delano said he could not pretend to justify the opium trade on moral grounds, he wrote, but as a merchant, I insist it has been fair, honorable, and legitimate, and no more objectionable than the importation of wines and spirits to the U.S. Yet, as addiction became epidemic, and as the Chinese began paying with precious silver for the drug, their emperor finally in 1839 named an imperial commissioner to end the trade. In the mid-19th century, not only did the Chinese opium trade bring one of the wealthiest nations on earth to its knees, and convert Britain's Queen Victoria into history's largest drug dealer. But a century before his grandson rose to power, it also made Warren Delano and the scions of several other prominent American families very, very rich. FDR's grandfather's embarrassing fortune was just the beginning of what would become an entire government-run and corporate bank-laundering trillion-dollar industry far too important to the wealthy elite to cut off and actually prosecute. I come to the table with a, a background in Air Force Intelligence, uh, eight years during the Vietnam War, worked with the CIA uh, and Air America, and then that led me into work, uh, contract work with the CIA in an obscure place called Mena, Arkansas, uh, back when Bill Clinton was governor and back when George Bush was the president. And, uh, and I personally witnessed a complicity between these two these two men, Bush and Clinton, in terms of uh, transporting cocaine into the U.S. Uh, for the purpose of sale to generate money 
to fight a war. And that, that war at the time was the uh, conflict in Central America involving the Sandinistas uh, in Nicaragua. Listen to what they let these guys off with, okay? He says some of this was very illegal. 